Okay, so in the last video I said that you couldn't make image maps responsive. I was just lying. You could make image maps responsive. In order to do that, you're going to have to use this package that I think is called RWD image maps. You come here. So I don't know who made this. Somebody made this and allows image maps to be used in a responsive design by recalculating the area coordinates to match the actual image size on load and window size, window resize. Okay. So here's a little demo of it. So the Powerpuff Girls. It's a bit more, it's a bit more of a complex image map. It's detecting that I'm in their hair and their little hands, their feet. And when I resize the window, this image stays the same size until the window starts getting smaller. Then you check it and it's still working. Oh, it says it. Okay. So it's working, it's resizing. Got to make sure this still works. Okay. So in order for you to use this, I'm going to be supplying all the default stuff that you need to get this working. It, it's not really a lot of stuff, but I'm still going to be supplying it for you just cause it, it, it just, it's a little bit to do on your own. You might not know where to go to download it. You might download the wrong thing anyway. So I'm going to be doing that for you. I'm going to be supplying you all the resources. So here in my examples folder, you can probably see it here. I have an, this little directory here, and this is a minified, look at that code. This is a minified JS file. So this is what's making the image maps be responsive. So you're going to need this in your project. Another thing you're going to need is some default code. So this is that code. Okay. So I'm going to break this down just a little bit. So give me two spaces. I'm going to comment this out for a second. This right here is importing jQuery. So this has nothing to do with resizing an image map. The reason you need this is because this, this one right here, this is relying on jQuery to, to do its work. So all jQuery is, is it's a JavaScript library. I think the motto of jQuery is to write less and do more. There's nothing you could do with jQuery that you can't do with vanilla JavaScript. The only thing is that JavaScript is kind of cumbersome. It, the code can get kind of long. You might be writing these long functions to, you know, document dot get element by ID and then a callback function and things like that. It's just a lot of code. So the idea of jQuery is to minify a lot of that code it allows you to select things and get a value or set a value. It's, it's pretty cool. jQuery is a pretty good thing to know. However, I'm just pointing out that jQuery is nothing too special. It's basically just JavaScript, but it's like JavaScript, but quicker or the code doesn't run faster. Essentially when you run jQuery, it just runs JavaScript, but for you typing the code, you just have to type J write jQuery code, which is faster than writing the vanilla JavaScript. So I just wanted to explain that a little bit. Cause jQuery is, like I said, it's nothing too special, but then this is relying on it. And then you need this code to get your image maps working, to get the resizing working. So right now I'm not going to do anything. I just want to go check, see how this is doing. So this is still working. Let me check. So there's no errors here. That's good. Okay. Let's go back here. Okay. There's one kicker and that is that you can't resize the image using the width attribute. So if you do that, it's just not going to work. What you have to do, you have to use CSS, which actually makes more sense because HTML is more used for markup and text and just getting stuff on the page. It's not really meant for altering how that stuff looks on the page. That's where CSS would come in. So it's not really a bad thing that you have to resize the image using CSS. 
it's a good habit to get into. So like you can say width 900. I'm going to make it a bit smaller actually, 700 pixels. Okay, so let's see what this is like. Okay, look at that. It resizes. And there's also a few other ways you can get this to be even more responsive. So you could say 80% of the view width. So this works. And then when you make it smaller, it'll, it'll get bigger with the page. Also, another thing that you could do is change this back to 800 pixels. So if you just put 800 pixels, it's not as big as I thought. Okay, that's better. So another thing that you could do here is there's a, a CSS max width. So you could use max width and say 100 or 90 view width. Is this gonna do what I want it to do? Yeah, so this keeps it the same size for a while and then it, it starts making it smaller as the the window gets smaller. You can make it really small. And then notice the image map is still working, which is really cool. Okay. Let's see what about a hundred. Yeah, I don't like the side there. This is just me nitpicking a little bit, but 96. What did I do wrong? Oh. Okay. You know it would look even better? 98, nope, 97, yeah, and you could also just, what if you got rid of that? It would just keep. Anyways, the point is that it's being responsive. That's good enough. 